Good morning. Getting a little bit of gas here. Going to a mountain area that's dry. So we'll probably be doing some dry washing. And it's a new area to me. So we're gonna go for gold and uh, see how we do. Check in later. All right, welcome back. I made it up here to uh, a new area. I'm actually up in the mountains. It is nice and cool, and uh, the air is the air smells fresh and pine trees and pine cones. A new place. From what I've learned, this is an area where I can possibly use my metal detector, maybe find some detectable gold. Certainly, I can use my dry washer, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So. I'll check in from time to time and uh, give you an update. Thanks for coming along. This looks to me to be an old spring. This looks like an epithermal rock created from probably a hot spring a long, long time ago. Okay, that's the first sample. About a half an hour running in the gully there. I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go pan this out. When I get down to the bottom of the pan, I'll turn the camera back on and show you. And what uh, like I showed you before, we're gonna do the, we're gonna use a quarter inch classifier here to get the larger stones out. Most of them will probably be stones, so. There's no point in panning with all those large stones in there. This is everything that got stuck in the riffle tray in the dry washer. So for one reason or another, they stayed in the riffle tray while everything else got blown out. These are the heaviest. This is the oversize. I showed you before, I spread the oversize out and go over it with my small metal detector. I'll show you later if I find anything. Brought about five gallons of water up. A lot of times when you're panning, it's advised to use, it's jet dry, it's a, it breaks up the water surface tension. Sometimes because gold is so hard to imagine thin, it will actually float on water. So you put a little bit of this in there to break the surface tension. To pan this out here. A lot of organic, a lot of uh, sticks and organic matter in there.
this is just a sample pan. So I'm trying to get down to the bottom, see if there's any color. Then you can sort of, the particle size, look at the consistency, sort of start to figure out what's happening in that area and go about it with a lot more care. But for starters, you just gotta find the gold, you know, because hopefully I'll maybe sample three areas and one of the three I'll, I'll be happy to work in. I've also been told that people do find detectable size gold up here, which is pretty uncommon. It's not easy to find gold that you can locate with a metal detector. Okay, we're getting down there. I'm going to go ahead and A friend of mine stopped by and uh, wanted to show me something so had a delay in the in the in the video here but this is the oversize uh, that we that we went through and I went through all of this with the detector and there was no metal a couple of little hot rocks in here but no metal in in here at all and for the for the panning for that first sample area that you observed there is a little bit of gold and I think you might be able to see it I'm going to put this penny in here Oops, it's really, it's really small stuff. Um, right up from the penny, right up from the penny, there's a few, there's probably five little specks in there. And also I found a, a piece of lead. That's the first sample. My friend showed me a better area. So I'm gonna move my vehicle and uh, my things and uh, go do the next sample from that area. All right, that's all for now. Good morning. It's day two. After my first sample yesterday, a friend of mine recommended I try a different area. So I packed up my things and moved my camp. And actually I moved it twice. First I moved it to a different spot yesterday and then I again moved it. And uh, as a result, I only got the first sample done yesterday. So it, it, was, uh, it was not an optimal day, certainly for uh, sampling. My first sample, as you saw in the video, was it had a little gold, which was really cool. You know, it's really cool to find some gold in the dirt, no matter how much you find. But in this area particularly, I'm looking for more than, than what I did find there. So this is my new spot for this morning. Uh, last night was nice. It was a, a really nice night. Beautiful, no, no clouds in the sky. Probably was a little bit cooler than I thought it was going to be. It got down to probably uh, high 30s. And uh, here this morning, right now, it's beautiful. It's nice and cool. Sun's coming up. Birds are out. And this is the spot for this morning. Sort of a gully along the mountainside. I'm actually quite a ways up on the side of the mountain here. And there, 
are diggings below me and there are diggings above me here. So this is a thought for today, for right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a good sample here first off and then I'm gonna go do some panning and check it out. And uh, I imagine I'm gonna spend most of the day in this spot right here. Okay, I'll check in later. More to come. A few hours later and it's really beautiful out here I'm going to uh, what I what I did is I I gathered up two more set two more um, bags of concentrates actually I did three I did I ran for another hour and a half and uh, I got three more bags of concentrates but my curiosity got the best of me, and I wanted to 
I got the other two bags over here, but I wanted to um, test, I wanted to test pan, and uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why in just a moment here. I wanted to test pan the third, um, the third bag of concentrates from the dry washer. Earlier I was telling you that, you know, when you go to a new area and you're going to be prospecting, I think it's, you know, you're going to be prospecting and people have told you there's gold and people have shown you or you've seen gold from the area. I think it's similar to like to fish and you're going to a to a large reservoir that you that you've never been to before and people have told you there's fish and you've seen pictures of fish but you may or may not catch any you don't you don't really know the lake that well you don't know the secret spots you don't know exactly what to use for bait maybe so in this scenario it's 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 very similar in that this is the first time I've been to this area and coming to an area like this and just thinking you're gonna take your first sample and find good gold and be able to run there for the rest of the trip is 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 uh, not really very likely to happen so thanks to my friend who gave me a tip about this area um, I moved around and I'd sampled this other spot and you saw the results from the from the test pan or from the test run this morning so that was just a test run and now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to further learn about that particular location just like in a big reservoir or a large lake or an inland sea if you're learning about the fish in that area you you continue to learn you don't just you don't just find one bay that has fish and then that's it, you stay there. You continue to learn about the, the area. And same thing with this. The reason I'm panning this bag of concentrates out is that number one, I'm curious. I, I wanna stay, I wanna stay on the goal. But also um, I'm learning more about the area. I'm learning more about, you know, I've only really worked in this particular spot today so so that's why I'm panning out another bag it's a very hard thing to resist when you have all the panning gear and you've got the water out here and you've got all the supplies and everything set up it's it's hard to, to resist and not and not um, pan out to just check to see how you're doing so here I am, this is the fourth, this is two hours, I've been, I processed for two hours today. So this is the fourth half hour and I just saw a little piece of gold in there a moment ago. I'm not sure if you saw that or not either, but I'll change the angle a little bit here. So anyway, it's pretty exciting. Great to find, there's that piece. There's that nice little piece right there. It's exciting to find a new spot with placer gold and to be able to recover it. I'm gonna go a little bit more carefully here. Show you what I have. A lot of organics in this particular location. They sort of mess up the final pan, and here we go. So anyway, that's my that's my analogy. When you're in a new gold area, it's kind of like going to a very large lake where people have told you there's fish, and expecting that you're just going to catch a big one. You know, you got to put in the time to. To learn about the area and to learn what's working before you can hopefully before you can predictably go back I don't know if you can see that or not it's very nice it's very nice 
school right there. There's a variety. There's very, very fine, very, very fine pieces, and then there's some chunky pieces. Let me show you what that is. Let me see here. And of course, I don't have my coin. A coin. Anyway, let me show you that. So that's pretty exciting. It's from a, a half hour. It's from a half hour run. Let's see if the where's the camera here? It's from a half hour run. You can see my finger in here. A couple of these pieces are real nice little pieces so anyway thanks for watching short little video here guys you can see this is the the angle of the camera from this morning and you can see there the bottom of the gully I have sort of cleaned out oh I don't know eight 10 feet by the width of the gully and so we've run that material through the dry washer uh, let's see five different so two and a half hours of actual dig time and then that's over here now there's the pile from from earlier from from two hours and the oversized stacked up here and now I've moved the dry washer another uh, you know increment up the uh, up the side of the gully here because we're moving up the gully we're gonna get another few feet up the gully I'm gonna get try to get two more runs in this evening and uh, then I'm gonna call it quits and uh, I'll report back soon there you go Good morning. It's day three. Doing very well. Yesterday was a great day. As you saw in the very first sample in the morning, um, there was good gold. Every sample that I tested, uh, which I tested three, was uh, had good gold. In. So, pretty exciting. A new area for me, and uh, it's very beautiful. Really fresh air. A lot of birds. Um, Last night was good. Uh, it gets a little bit cold. It got down to 35 or so, maybe 36. And uh, but I was very comfortable in my sleeping arrangement. And if if I needed to, I could put a tent up, and that would that would you know help a lot. But I'm not going to do that until I need to. And, you know, when you come to a new area like this, and you start prospecting, you start sampling, you uh, you know you may or may not do very well. And uh, I know that you could do a lot better too. So you just have to um, put in the time and the effort and take samples. In this case, I got a recommendation from a friend to uh, you know a spot that he'd been before. And what I did is I went uphill from his spot and did very well. So there's a lot of ground up there and I'm gonna go up and uh, spend the rest of the day and then I'm gonna head down the mountain. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I went up and did five, five sessions, five half hours um, this morning and earlier today. 
it's it's getting close to two o'clock now I'm packing things up I got the camp uh, I have the camp half broken down now so it's been a great trip and uh, a really beautiful area um, I'm going to do a quick recap give you guys some information show you what I found show you what I found on the oversize um, every one of those samples I went through I did 11 total uh, half hour sessions with the dry washer and every one of those sessions I ran through the uh, oversized the quarter inch plus uh, oversized material I ran through each one of those 11 with my small metal detector and uh, I found some uh, things I want to show you in those so basically uh, wrapping things up here uh, terrific trip two nights and three days and uh, I still got to go up the hill to get my dry washer and uh, I'm saving that for the end <laughs> but uh, uh, I got something to show you here in just a moment so thanks for watching all right and we're back here guys all right so what I did was between yesterday and today I ran 11 half hour periods with the dry washer I used to just call them runs um, 11 runs with the dry washer you can see over here this is from yesterday Here's number two, three, and five. Number one is the one I sampled. I wanted to know if there was gold there. So the first run we panned out, found good gold. The, the second run I bagged up, the third run I bagged up, the fourth run I panned out, I believe you saw that too. We found gold. Fifth one I bagged up. Sixth one was last night. And I, I ran that, or I, I panned that last night just because I was so curious. And this morning, or today, and this morning and today, I did number 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Just a little farther up from where I was working yesterday. So those are the, those are the bagged up concentrates. Every one of these is classified quarter inch minus. So they're, they're unsearched, but the quarter inch plus has been taken out because mostly it's just stones. And, but everything else is in there, the dirt, the organics, um, they're, they're unsearched, those are unsearched concentrates. These are, these are the items that I found in, in, the, uh, in the 11 trays with my small metal detector. These are all somewhat pure metal. These are all, um, this, one's not as, this one's not as strong, but these are all somewhat pure, probably iron. Unfortunately, they're not gold, and it's very rare that I found uh, a plus quarter inch nugget from the three samples from yesterday. Here we go. That is from those three, um, those three runs with the, the dry washer and uh, I was able to recover that out of hundreds and hundreds of pounds of rock and earth <laughs> so so there you go guys. and once again thanks for watching